In this video, I'm going to answer a question from somebody. Is it better to have a fixed rate mortgage or a variable rate? Watch the video to find out. Question here from somebody about if I am buying a property, uh, should they fix the interest rate or is it better to have normal interest rates? By that, uh, I assume you mean variable. The answer is it depends. It depends on your attitude towards risk, how you feel. Are interest rates going to go up? Are they going to stay down? Are they going to go negative? Uh, so it depends on what you think. Uh, what I usually do is, depending on the type of mortgage, uh, I will do one of two things. One is I'll fix the entire amount if I can get a good rate uh, for five years. I don't do two years because two years come around very quickly and then you've got to try and renegotiate again and all the costs and the headache and the aggro from my point of view isn't worth it. So I'll fix it for five years and usually the difference in rate, and I'll give you two or three live examples right now. One uh, with Aldemo, variable 3.75, fixed 3.99 for five years, why wouldn't you fix it? Uh, uh, another one uh, with a different bank and there what my client is doing is fixing half and keeping half variable. So a bit of both. Uh, so you could do that, fix some of it, keep some of it uh, variable if it's a, a commercial deal. Uh, and the other one is just keep it variable and if the fixed rate's high and the extra money you're saving on, on obviously the, the fixed rate keep that somewhere on the side so when interest rates go up uh, you've got that uh, extra pool of cash that you can use but seeing that you're asking the question means you have some concern that interest rates might go up and that it might be a good thing to fix it so I'd say if you've got that concern in your mind I'd always say to you fix it so all of my mortgages I always fix them because I don't want the headache of if interest rates go up in two years time or whatever, am I going to be paying more, is it worth it, is it not worth it and like I said with the example I've given you of Oldmo, sometimes the fixed rate isn't that much higher, so I, I, I've usually seen 0.25 or to 0.3, sometimes obviously depending on, on the bank or the lender you speak to, the rates could be higher but I've seen 0.25 to 0.3, that's worth fixing. So do your research, speak to different lenders, find the one where you, you're getting a good rate, fix it, you'll be better off. That's what I do. That's my advice to you.